Water we've already used, called wastewater, is generally treated before being released into our rivers or oceans. Recycling this water for drinking means taking this pre-treated wastewater and purifying it to exceed drinking water standards so that we can use it again rather than waste it. How is this done? The wastewater undergoes multiple processes to purify it. The key ones to be aware of are microfiltration, reverse osmosis and advanced oxidation. To explain, microfiltration involves passing the pre-treated wastewater through fine membrane filters that remove particles and microorganisms, including bacteria and some viruses. In the reverse osmosis stage, this filtered water is forced through a special membrane at high pressure to further remove other impurities such as pesticides and viruses. Finally, during advanced oxidation, the water is exposed to ultraviolet light and hydrogen peroxide. This process removes remaining traces of organic compounds and organisms. The result is purified water of a very high quality. In fact, the water exceeds Australian drinking water standards. There are two ways purified recycled water can then be introduced to our drinking water supply direct potable reuse and indirect potable reuse. Direct potable reuse means putting the now purified recycled water directly into the drinking water supply. This is an energy and cost efficient method of recycling water as it eliminates the need to pump the water to a storage facility then retreat it. Direct potable reuse schemes are growing internationally, with countries such as the United States and South Africa increasingly using it as a vital water source. Current state regulations don't allow for direct potable reuse schemes in Queensland. This may change in the future as acceptance and understanding of these schemes increases. Indirect potable reuse means adding the recycled water to other untreated water, generally in a dam or groundwater basin. The purified water mixes with the untreated water and is treated again in a conventional water treatment plant before entering the water supply. This water supply is currently being used in over 20 sites across the world, including California, London, Singapore and Perth. Sometimes indirect potable reuse is unplanned. This happens when communities along a river or waterway discharge their treated wastewater into the river, which then flows onto communities downstream, where it's extracted and treated for drinking water. This is common in Australia and around the world. In South East Queensland, we have the ability to produce purified, recycled water through the Western Corridor Recycled Water Scheme. This scheme was built during the Millennium Drought, but is not currently in use. When operating, it can produce up to 180 megalitres of water per day. This water can be used to replenish Wyvernhoe Dam before being treated again at the Mount Crosby water treatment plants. Recycling water for drinking is a climate resilient option. It is marginally impacted by drought as we generally use less water during dry times, meaning there's less wastewater available for purification. In comparison to other water supply options, recycled water is less energy intensive and less costly than desalination, but it does require more energy to produce than surface water and is therefore currently more expensive. The regulators of water recycling schemes here in Australia and worldwide currently ensure the monitoring of water quality standards are higher than those applied to most other water supply options. Regardless of whether recycled water is introduced to the water supply directly or indirectly, it is a resilient water source, often resulting in reduced nutrient discharge into our waterways.